Smith and Nelson in the morning on 94.9 KISS FM. Smith and Nelson in the morning. It's 94.9 KISS FM on your Monday. A few minutes ago I was saying, yeah, you kind of hang your head on a Monday and go, oh, jeez, the weekend's over. Right. You're pouting a little bit. Back to it. I'm on the other side of things this week. That's usually me. Yeah. But this week I'm like, oh, it's a clean slate. It's a new week. <laughs> it's got to be better than last week. Interesting. As we recap uh, last few days, the weekend that was, we do this uh, every Monday to start the week. Yes, we do. Just get caught up a little bit. Last week was the holiday Monday. Uh, we'd gone on out of town for the road trip, coming back on Monday. My wife lost her purse and her wallet. Yep. Ended up calling where she left it. They had the purse. They did not have the wallet. Yeah, somebody took that wallet. So I spent the day uh, canceling credit cards and debit cards and anything else. And then uh, it was a fiasco last week trying to figure out how to get her a new license because right. the one she lost is an out-of-state license. And so they uh, they deem that as you just don't have one. You don't know how to drive. Yeah. You've never seen a car before. <laughs> you got to go take the written test and the driving test. Oh, boy. And uh, I think right now they were scheduling like uh, the, first, the first one you could get into, I think it was the written test, was like – July or something. Yeah. Was, this stuff was booked out. Um, so that was a that was a crazy battle last week. Friday, I was here. My wife, uh, my wife actually works just across the parking lot here. Um, so I ran to get her something from the store real quick, about a mile away. Came back. As I got out of my car, I heard kind of like a, and I was like, <laughs> was like, is that my fan? That seems weird. Like, yeah. I only went a mile, and it's not that hot out. Plus, it doesn't really sound like my fan normally does. Right. Plus my fan's having an issue. Like, that's weird. So I went inside. About three, four minutes later, my wife goes, is your car on? And I said, I, no. I turned it off when I came in. She but said, she could hear that sound? She couldn't hear it. But somebody had come into the door and said, hey, whose car is smoking out there? Oh, no. <laughs> and she sarcastically kind of kind of laughing said, oh, if it's a white one, it might be my husband's. And the, and the other person goes, it is white. And she, <laughs> my, my wife was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she said to me, is your car on? Someone says it's smoking out there. So oh, I go geez. outside. There's, there's definitely something going on. You could just like, when you get close enough, you're just like, whoo, okay, something's burning. Something's something's not right here. Yeah. I pop the hood, a little, you know, I mean, it's not like it's just billowing smoke or anything. But you can like smell something for sure. Oh, yeah. Something's, but I'm trying, I'm looking in there. I don't see anything smoky. I don't see any, you know, nothing too crazy. And I think, well, I'll just make a run for it. I'll try and, I'll just try and get home. <laughs> Key in the ignition. Right. Turn it. Here's the sound it made. That was the sound. That was the sound. Yeah. Was just, <laughs> okay. No, no just click. Something, yeah. No click. No just nothing. didn't do anything? The radio doesn't come on. Nothing works. Oh, man. So I had to have it towed to the shop on Friday night. Ah, which, geez. which was the, uh, yeah, well, we can be there in 45 minutes to an hour. And I went, mm-hmm, we'll see about that. Yeah. Which, of course, yeah, about more like an hour and a half later. And then towed it to the shop and left it there and then back home. So, yeah, I think we ended up getting home about 7.30, 8 o'clock Jeez. Uh, on Friday night. And it was just the, the fiasco of dealing with that. And then uh, I'd called them before I towed it there and just said, hey, uh, you know, is there a chance you can look at it? And they said, yeah. well, we're really not taking appointments till like, the middle end of next week. But if you have it here and there's a little lull in the action, we, we can pull it in and kind of kind of peek. Didn't hear anything yesterday. Finally, uh, it was like five five o'clock last night. I called just to be like, "Hey, did anybody get a chance to take a look? Or you know, is there a date this week that I know you can?" And so they did kind of start to take a look. And uh, I don't know, they're, they got to see if they can find a piece. And I don't know, a, w- a wire grounded out, and then it burnt through, and then no connection from the battery to this. And uh, so don't really know where it all stands right now because they got to they got to replace that wire to then. Check other things, so just a, yeah, just a cluster. So uh, the, the the week started with the uh, the loss of the wallet and the and the uh, the purse, right? And then it ended with the car being towed to the shop and then not having uh, not having my vehicle. So so did you? Uh, so you took your wife's car to work? I'm guessing today. No, I took one of our station vehicles. Oh, really? And because uh, she has to use it today. Well, she can't drive legally, right? Uh, well, <laughs> she can't. But but she did have a she did have a uh, a, a police officer that was. At her work on Friday. And she, oh, really? She said, like, hey, my, my purse got stolen. My wallet got stolen. I don't have a license. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get one, but, I, you know, I'm going through these. Figuring hoops. that yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what happens if I get pulled over? And she kind of got the, you know, eh, not the end of the world. You just have to kind of prove that you have <laughs> or, you know, that you're yeah. legal, legal driver type deal. And, okay. Okay. So, yeah. So she's still on the road. Okay. Well, that's good. But that yeah. was the week. So not much went along with the weekend except for. Not having a vehicle, wondering how much it's going to cost, wondering when I'll get it back. Dealing with all that stuff. 
also feeling like, man, this is just the worst week ever. What's going on? Why do I have such bad luck? So, new slate. It's a Monday, and we uh, we start fresh. There you go. By comparison, my weekend much more <laughs> chill. <laughs> I would say. Uh, no, my my girlfriend and I were out uh, doing some pride celebration this weekend. We went to the uh, the body painting at Monks on Friday night, uh, which was pretty cool. And then uh, Saturday night, uh, stopped by the block party for a little bit. We were trying to go to the parade, but uh, my girlfriend had work like right up until when the parade started, and then. Had to sleep like right afterwards, so we ended up uh, going to the block party kind of later, around like eight o'clock. Went to the after party at Conflux, and then went to karaoke at All Souls, cool. and uh, yeah, had some good times there. Nice, uh, had some fun, and then yeah, that was that was pretty much the weekend. Otherwise, my I, I do have a, a, a sort of similar, not not nearly as bad as everything you guys have been dealing with, <laughs> but uh, I lost my passport, and uh, I'm actually trying to get my uh, license renewed. I have an out of state license, and I need to get like a uh, Montana license. Mine's going to expire you're in a few weeks. The, yeah, you're racing the clock. Racing the clock a little bit. And uh, I had an appointment to do it today, and uh, last night I went to go, oh, got to go get my passport so I can bring it there and use it for the thing, and uh, can't find my passport anywhere. Don't know where it is. Because you, now you're you're in the situation where you're facing the same thing. If yours expires, I got to take the test again. It's an out-of-state license, and they'll say, oh, sorry, you don't, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I got to uh, try to avoid that situation. So now I got to have my mom uh, send my birth certificate to me and <laughs> you know do all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I have no, like, it's one of those things where I was, I was searching for like two hours last night looking for my passport. Wow. Had, like, I was going through like every single crevice in my house. I, th- I think what happened is like last time I needed it was like around the time I moved into my new place. And it must have just gotten like thrown into some <laughs> box at some you point. You start scooping stuff out. Like, yeah, put this here. Yeah, but this I pile. but I could have sworn it was like <laughs> right in my car. You know, I thought it was like in the same compartment it always is. You check the same place like four times. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe, so maybe I just didn't see it when I checked here before. Yeah. So I was up. I was up until like, midnight last night looking for it. And then eventually just like gave up and went oh, to bed. Oh man. So. We'll see what happens there. That's a bummer. <laughs> All right, there you go. A little recap. Smith and Nelson on your Monday, the weekend that was with KISS. 94.9 KISS FM. Time to say what they tweet, what they do. It's what's making news in the world of country music. This is the Music City 60 on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is your Music City 60, and a country music star is uh, spending a couple nights in jail. Rascal Flatts' is Joe Don Rooney was in court last week pleading guilty on last year's DUI arrest when he crashed into the line of trees in Williamson County, Tennessee, south of Nashville. He'll be spending two days in jail. Has to report this Wednesday at 3 p.m. It was a first-time DUI plea, which is a misdemeanor, and that comes up with uh, 11 months and 29 days of jail. The judge suspended pretty much everything except for two days. (laughs) It's so weird how that works. Yeah. Yeah, You got uh, 11 months. Yeah, you can just do two days. Call it good. I I really like life as a highway. Two days is fine. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Jason Aldean in an interview saying his kids are just starting to kind of figure out that he's famous. He says, I don't think they've 100% figured it out yet, but they're starting to catch on that their daddy is a little different from other daddies. Yeah. He says, my only hope is they stay as perfect and as innocent as they are now. (laughs) Good good luck, buddy. Yeah. See how that goes. (laughs) Uh, Alan Jackson has pulled out of performing at this year's CMA Fest. Uh, No reason was given, but everyone kind of speculating that it's related to his nerve condition. Yeah. Uh, According to reports, he is scheduled to do uh, his Knoxville, Tennessee show on June 25th. On the flip side, Brothers Osborne, Old Dominion, and Dina Carter are some of the acts that have been added to the performance lineup at CMA Fest. All right. Scotty McCreary doing an interview and talking about being on American Idol and how it was pressure-packed and fun and just something he's always going to remember. Scotty's quote says, It was such a defining moment and such a core memory for me. Even when I'm hopefully 85, Lord willing, I'll be thinking back to that moment, just being on stage for the finale. But even before that, all the memories, getting to work with people like Steven Tyler, Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, to be 17 and doing that was pretty amazing. That is. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about what I was doing when I was 17. <laughs> it wasn't that. Not quite as excited as hanging out <laughs> with Steven Tyler, Jennifer Lopez, and Beyonce. Yeah. Man, that's, a, that's not, a, not a bad way to get your break in the music business. That's either. pretty solid. You're on TV show, you're seeing how everything works behind the scenes, you're dealing with the biggest stars in the industry. Pretty crazy. All right, there you go. And now, you're in the know with Nashville. Smith & Nelson's Music City 60, 94.9 KISS FM. This is what's newsy and noteworthy with Smith & Nelson on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is what's newsy and noteworthy for your morning. And this is a weird story. A guy at Disneyland Paris uh, took his girlfriend up onto a stage in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle and uh, got down on one knee ready to pose. Uh, thing is, Disney parks won't let you just hop up on an outdoor stage, even if it's empty. Right in the middle of the proposal, an employee in Mickey Mouse ears sprinted on stage, 
uh, ran in between them, snagged the ring out of the guy's hand, <laughs> and told him to get down. Uh, their friend posted a video of it on Reddit, claims the guy who proposed asked for permission first, and he asked a different employee if it was okay. She said go for it. This guy didn't get the memo. Near the end of the video, you can see him point at someone off camera and say, she said it was okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> can't, blame, can't blame the other one for doing their job. Yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking of Disney, the story says Disney may once again use Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow, now that uh, the crazy trial is all in the past. But it was a uh, an interview with a former Disney executive, and here's his thoughts. He says, quote, I absolutely believe, post-verdict, that Pirate, Pirates is primed for rebooting with Johnny as Captain Jack back on board. There's just too much potential box office treasure for a beloved character deeply embedded in the Disney culture. And he goes on to talk about how uh, things might it might help now that Top Gun came out. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, they've kind of brought back Tom Cruise. It's making tons of money. Yeah. And they're saying, eh, wouldn't be surprising. So we'll, we'll see. Okay, see how that goes. Uh, this is pretty wild. This happened in Florida. Police noticed that someone had installed an actual electrical outlet into a traffic light pole. It was uh, being used as a place to charge cell phones and other devices. Uh, supposedly, they didn't access the electrical line that controlled the traffic lights. Uh, they instead removed the crosswalk button, used those wires to power the outlet, then mounted the outlet onto the pole. Uh, police posted a photo on Facebook and said, while we are really in awe of the ingenuity here, <laughs> yeah, right. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we would like to send out a reminder that damaging a traffic signal is a felony. Please use your skills in a more useful manner. And what are you going to use the plug-in for anyway? <laughs> Uh, all right, this is a crazy story. How about Mendocino, California? There's a Chevron gas station there, and it's currently charging nine dollars and sixty cents a gallon of gas. Is that illegal? Are they allowed to do that? Three dollars more than the state average of six thirty. Four dollars and seventy eight cents higher than the national average of four eighty two. Uh, the gas station is the only one in town, and the owner of the gas station says she recently paid fifty thousand dollars for an almost nine thousand uh, dollar. Sorry, fifty thousand dollars for an almost nine thousand gallon delivery of gas. Okay, in March that same amount of gas cost thirty thousand dollars. Jeez, so she says she'll be lucky if she's going to be able to make it the year with all the fees and the regulations. Yeah, her 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 final thought. She says Mendocino won't have a gas station next year if it keeps going the way it's going. That's crazy. Uh, not great. Uh, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. Of course, we're talking about that in June right now. Yeah, why not? Uh, it's almost 30 years old. Somebody finally got around to suing her over it. <laughs> uh, guy's name is Andy Stone, uh, who's also known as Vince Vance from the band Vince Vance and the Valiants. Oh, wow. Uh, do you know Vince Vance yeah, and the Valiants? Sure. Really? Okay. I'm, I'm not familiar. Uh, but that group released a song called All I Want for Christmas is You yeah. back in 1989, five years before Mariah Carey did. Uh, and there's nothing similar in the lyrics or the melody of the two songs. Um, but apparently he feels that her song exploited his popularity and unique style and caused confusion with his track. And he also notes that uh, his version received extensive airplay during the 93 Christmas season about a year before Mariah's came out. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> well, I didn't take 30 years to say, wait a minute. <laughs> I think you do that like the first year. Right? Yeah, that, you would think so. Final one, Jimmy Kimmel tells Variety Magazine he may stop hosting his late night show after his contract ends in 2023. He says, I wish I knew what I was going to do. There's moments where I go, I can't do this anymore. And then there's moments where I go, what am I going to do with my life if I'm not hosting the show anymore? So uh, that'd be kind of crazy. I think it's time to bring back Crank Yankers. A- I believe that's <laughs> that's the next move. <laughs> Just throw it in the late night slot. Yeah. <laughs> be, be interesting. It's been a while since there's been like a good late night shakeup. Yeah, now Corden's leaving and Jimmy Kimmel might be leaving. Yeah, yeah some shakeups could be happening. All right, there you go. Newsy and Noteworthy with Kiss. We want to make sure you have fun this summer. And what can be more fun than hanging out in the Sandbar at a Kenny Chesney concert show? Winner and a guest get Sandbar Kenny Chesney show tickets, airfare, hotel, and $500 cash. Listen for the Kenny Chesney contest code words at 820, 1020, 120, and 420. Enter them on our app and get ready to hang with Kenny along with Dan and Shay, Old Dominion, and Carly Pierce. Get official rules and more info on the app. Sponsored by Warner Music Nashville. Pulled from the KISS FM mobile app, this is What's Going On Around Town on 94.9 KISS FM. All right, from your KISS FM mobile app or KISSFM.com where you'll find these stories, including one popular Missoula food truck, they are adding to the fleet. Okay. I guess technically the second truck makes it a fleet. (laughs) 
<laughs> Before, you just have a truck. Right. Now it's a fleet. <laughs> now it's a fleet. Yes. <laughs> and that would be uh, M80 Chicken. M80 Chicken now has two food trucks, which means I guess they'll be uh, out at twice as many events. Double the coverage. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday through Sunday, they're over outside uh, the Kettle House Tap Room, which had a story last week. Southside Kettle House. Yeah. Be, uh, going up for sale. Currently up for sale. Yeah. We'll see what happens there. M80 Chicken is there. And I guess part of the story is they've been approached to do events and stuff around town. And they yeah. They like, eh, well, we're, okay. we're already set up shop here. And so they, I guess, have passed on some things. But now they're able to keep their presence there, but then also kind of do some other events. Nice. Now you have like a standby location and you can kind of go around. Now that's a smart idea. Bingo. So their new truck uh, already going to be featured with Out to Lunch and Downtown Tonight. So they'll, yeah, kind of. Double the coverage around town. Nice. Love that. Uh, new study uh, showing which cities in the country are the best for a staycation. Missoula ranking number 53 on the list. All right. So we're on the list. We're on the list. Not too bad. 53 out of 182 cities. I, I think that's pretty good. That's that's a solid number to be at. Usually, you know, we're kind of spoiled. We're top 10. We're, we're always the top of these cool <laughs> yeah, lists that exactly. they're doing. Or at the very bottom. There's really no in between. This one we're... We're just on. We're on the list. Yeah, exactly. Each city, each city kind of ranked based on how their uh, recreation options pan out, their food and entertainment, rest and relaxation. And, yeah, 53. Uh, number one on the list was Honolulu, Hawaii, which I think is cheating a little bit. Because the list <laughs> should, is about state. Yeah, yeah, this is about staycations, which, like, yeah, I'm sure Honolulu is great. That would top a vacation list. You know, that would top, like, <laughs> like one of the top vacation spots. It can't be both. Yeah, that's, r- that's rough to be. It's rough to live in, in Hawaii and be like, ugh. I guess we really can't afford to go anywhere this year. <laughs> I guess we'll just stay, stay in Hawaii. We'll stay on on the beach. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more for you. The airport getting ready to open up the new terminal coming yeah. up on Wednesday. They did the open house last week. And the story with our website and mobile app, some of the cool new features uh, that have to do with security okay. at the new terminal. TSA and kind of some of the stuff they're using. Stuff that sounds like it should be in James Bond films. Really? The check baggage inspection system. The CBIS You've got the uh, explosive detection systems, 3D, 3D X-ray imaging, computed tomography scanners. Okay, sounds pretty uh, pretty high tech. Definitely, yeah. I think one of the cool things is with, with one of those machines, it's where you don't have to take electronics or liquids out of your bag. Oh, really? You can leave them in your check-on or your carry-on. Uh, so you don't bag. Have to pull, like, pull your laptop out of the bag yes. or anything anymore. Wow, that, that's uh, one. It's annoying. Yeah, you, you know, you got limited hands you're trying to work with here. Then it's like also just slows everybody down. Yeah, and then you got to scramble to put it back in your bag once yes. you get that through the thing. Yeah, that's that's going to make things a lot easier. So, uh, apparently, as part of this, you're supposed to be able to kind of keep those electronics and liquids just in your bag. Put it up there. It'll scan it. It'll tell you if, if uh, you know something's fishy or whatnot. But that's great. Sounds like maybe it could speed up the process. I love that. All right. Details with all these stories, you will find them with your KISS FM mobile app. A little look here for the morning at what's going on around town with KISS. When it's country in Fritztown, it's Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM. Craving Smith & Nelson's Odds and Ends on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, they are some odds and ends for your morning. The MTV Movie and TV Awards were last night. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home was the winner of Best Movie, and Tom Holland won Best Performance for that movie. Euphoria was the winner of Best Show, and Zendaya won Best Performance in a show for Euphoria. Also, Jack Black was given the Comedic Genius Award, and uh, Jennifer Lopez got the Generation Award, and uh, the Best Kiss went to Poopies and the Snake in Jackass Forever. <laughs> You're a great name of a movie on its own. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. You gonna go see Poopies and the Snake tonight? <laughs> yeah, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, speaking of movies, Top Gun, Maverick, another $86 million last week. It's now gross more than $548 million worldwide. Yeah. And it says uh, Paramount Plus execs considering turning it into a series. <laughs> really? They, they may ask Tom Cruise to make a cameo or two on the show, so not uh, not a focus of the show. Interesting. But maybe uh, ask to kind of help it out a little yeah, bit. See, see how that goes, I guess. Uh, this uh, video has been going viral recently. This happened last month in Australia. A man fought a kangaroo that tried to attack his dogs. Luckily, he's a former MMA trainer uh, because he ended up in a brawl with this kangaroo that lasted over (laughs) six minutes. Uh, They boxed. They wrestled. The guy hit it with a stick. Uh, The kangaroo bit his finger, gouged his head, clawed his legs. And then it finally took off. He beat the kangaroo. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I, did, I, I saw a video of it last week, but I just saw like 15 seconds. I didn't yeah. realize it was that long. It's kind of nuts, yeah. Gosh, it's crazy. Uh, two brothers recently riding in their car. They started an argument about what to eat. One brother got tired of arguing. He's like, all right, 
You want you want to, you want to be that way? All right. Pulled in front of a Chicago police station, got out of the vehicle, started yelling that his brother had a gun. Cops arrested his brother because he's not licensed to carry a firearm in public. Charged him with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon and possession of a laser sight. Oh man! What? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Your brother in like that? Yeah, that's brutal. That's right. That's wild. Uh, this has kind of been going around online recently. Stranger Things season four uh, recently debuted. I started watching it this past weekend, actually. Uh, but fans have noticed a continuity error that the the creators of the show may actually have to go back and change. I guess back in season two. Uh, one of the characters reminds uh, Will that his birthday is March 22nd. And this season, uh, there's an episode where they're in a roller rink. There's a camera that shows the date is March 22nd. No one acknowledges that it's Will's birthday. <laughs> and uh, it just makes it like very sad that like, all the characters are ignoring Will's birthday. Hmm. Uh, the creators have said that, uh, yeah, we also forgot that it was Will's birthday on that day. Uh, and so they actually may be going back to change the line in season two where they say March 22nd. And change it to May twenty second, since that'll fit into the that, that person's mouth. Maybe they should just do a new episode that's like he's bummed that everybody forgot his birthday. <laughs> that could also be the thing. Right yeah. into the storyline. That'd be the first episode of season five. Is just everybody <laughs> apologizing to Will. <laughs> All right, some things that happened on this date: nineteen forty four, Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy, France, with the D Day invasion. This date: nineteen seventy eight. It's when uh, twenty twenty premiered on ABC. This date: nineteen eighty four, Tetris was released. Oh wow. And this date in 2007, Bob Barker filmed his final Price is Right episode. Has it been that long? 2007. Man. I had to do a double take, too. That's kind of crazy. 15 years? Drew Carey's been doing this for 15 years? Pretty wild. Uh, birthday today. How about Robert England? Might know him better as Freddy Krueger. Yeah. 75. Also in the Whoa. new season of Stranger Things. There you go. We, we brought it full circle. Yeah. All right. Odds and ends for the morning with Kiss. This part of Smith & Nelson in the Morning, brought to you by Hunter Bay Coffee, Montana's premium gourmet coffee roaster. Do you want to agree? Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM, Smith & Nelson on a Monday. And you know why Mondays are great around here? That would be free cookies. Absolutely. Get cookies delivered to our office, and then on Friday, we deliver it somewhere else. With Free Cookie Friday, Crumble Cookies. On Mondays, we get a, a visit from Heather from Crumble, and she breaks down the uh, the new flavors of the week for us. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, guys. This is such a good week full of cookies. It is. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely at least one that I don't recognize. As yeah, far as being a newbie, but uh, we'll we'll let you we'll let you do the honors. Let me do the honors. Okay. Well, we'll start out with a super fan favorite. Um, is our snickerdoodle cupcake. And so we're just taking the perfect snickerdoodle cookie, which everybody loves, and then we put our cream cheese frosting on top of that, mm. and it's warm, melty, over the top, cinnamon sugar. It's one of my faves. Yeah. Cream cheese frosting, cinnamon sugar. I mean, what else do you want? Come on now. Yeah, that, that beautiful crumble <laughs> cookies thing of combining two things to make an even better thing <laughs> with yes. snickerdoodles and cupcakes together at last. Mm. Snickerdoodle Cupcake is a super fan favorite. Everybody loves that one. Uh, our chilled cookie for the week, this one is something that's super yummy and just kind of reminds you of a summertime treat, but we've got our orange cream sickle. Yeah. So last week we had some lemons. This week we've got some orange. So it's just an orange um, sugar cookie. It's chilled. We put orange buttercream frosting on it, drizzle it with white chocolate, this is a good cookie. I love uh, I love cream sickles. Yes, I do too. And the the they taste get the, spot. the taste carries over to the cookie world. It sure does. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> It does. And then Grandma with her our oatmeal cookie. I don't know why I have to always say Grandma and oatmeal. I mean, my grandma never fed me oatmeal. But I don't, I don't know why I do that. So sorry. That you associate be... with grandmas despite not having it with your own grandma. But I, feel, I know. I, I, feel exactly. like that's, I feel like that's a normal thing. Though. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, it could be everybody's pet peeve. And now that they know that my grandma didn't feed me oatmeal, it's going to bug them forever. Yeah. So... But this one, we take it um, up in a notch. We put uh, a delicious vanilla cream cheese glaze over the top of this cookie. And when I say we put it over the top, we literally drench it <laughs> in the vanilla cream cheese glaze. Just, and yeah. it, just just, it is completely covered, cookie. yeah. Completely covered, soaks down into that cookie. So every bite has that vanilla glaze all the way through it, this I love this iced oatmeal cookie. All right, next time we do uh, next time we do an oatmeal cookie, we're both gonna be like, "Your grandma didn't even serve that." <laughs> <Your grandma. 
<laughs> Inauthentic. Do you want oatmeal? <laughs> um, well, she did give me buttermilk pancakes. There you go. But I'm and so that's our next <laughs> cookie. Buttermilk pancake. This one is super fun. It's it's one of those ones where we take just a really everyday thing, make it into a cookie, and it just kind of blows your mind. So the buttermilk pancake cookie, we um, have a really yummy, syrupy kind of glaze that goes on top of it, and then our little dollop of buttercream um, frosting on top. Just it looks just like a little baby pancake. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this one this week with my four year old because she is just like a, a little pancake. Uh, <laughs> Kind of you know, that's all she wants. Yeah. yeah, my wife like she 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 these little mini microwave pancakes she eats. My wife made yep. like this big breakfast yesterday with eggs and bacon inside of it. And put it in Didn't breakfast, want any that. breakfast burrito. She took one bite and she's like, "Can I have mini pancakes?" I have mini pancakes. <laughs> gonna, you're just like, "Yep." I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her the uh, pancake cookie this week. I'm there you go. I think it'll blow her all mind. All right, we'll, we'll see if she, we'll see if it passes the test. Just like grandma used to do. <laughs> just, like, just like grandma. Um, and then the new cookie on the menu this week, and I'm excited for it. One, it looks so cool. Like the color contrast, I love it. Yeah. Um, it is our lemon blackberry. So this is served warm. It's a lemony cookie. It has sweet blackberry in it, lem- poppy seeds, and then they put, um, and we have, let's see, blackberry cream cheese frosting on top, and then just a nice, scoop of blackberry jam just right there on the top right in the center right on the top like, cookie frosting <laughs> jam exactly so with this yummy tart flavors i'm excited for this All right. one iced oatmeal lemon blackberry got the orange creamsicle buttermilk pancake the snickerdoodle cupcake and the milk chocolate chip Oof, Always milk chocolate, yeah. Great assortment this week. Absolutely. All right, Crumble Cookies, North Reserve, check them out. They've also got their Crumble Cream with an assortment of flavors. You can do uh, catering and delivery. Hey, you got uh, people graduating. That'd be a good idea with some gift cards. That'd be great. Or a delivery, right? All it right. would. Heather, appreciate you on Mondays giving us the rundown. Okay, you guys have the best week. Back at you. We'll talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye. There you go, Heather from Crumble Cookies. Uh, great assortment of flavors this week. Absolutely. Everything we just mentioned, you'll get a party box with uh, all those flavors delivered to you work at work on Friday, and you will be the MVP of the workplace. Yes, you will. It's free cookie Friday. All you got to do is enter at our win stuff page at kissfm.com or your free Kiss FM mobile app. You know, newsworthy nugget of the day with Smith and Nelson on 94.9 Kiss FM. Brought to you by Farside Sign, Missoula's leading full service sign and custom vehicle graphic shop. Fars had sign in the 2200 block of Avenue West. Good for your brain. Learn a little something every day. We do the work so you don't have to. Exactly. Try to find something that uh, hopefully is hopefully news to you. Yeah, definitely. Something you're hearing for the first time. Yes, and if you're a fan of uh, Outback Steakhouse, uh, did you know Outback Steakhouse, uh, they began back in 1988, started off in Tampa. At the time, not one of the four founders of Outback had ever been to Australia. <laughs> That's great. Hadn't even come close. That's fantastic. <laughs> I think they were kind of just capitalizing. I mean, the, <laughs> la- the late 80s was like a big like Australia boom in the U.S. Crocodile Dundee right. had just come out, right? So I think they just saw an opportunity there, and we're like, oh, just toss some boomerangs on the wall, and we'll see what happens there. That's not but- a restaurant. <laughs> this is a restaurant. Exactly. Uh, I I would imagine at some point they must have came to Australia, right? Like after that. It'd be better if they didn't. Maybe. But- I think there might be like one outback in Australia. I feel like I feel like they're not crazy about it over there. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. How you even get the idea? Yeah. And, and put it in motion, having never been, <laughs> never been to Australia. At least right. before they started it. Need to or not? Now you know.